Hey guys, Idy here, Thrifty Mom of Four, and today's tea drop is matcha green tea. If you've never tried my tea drops before, I highly recommend. I've been enjoying their teas for over a year now. So with that, I had decided to join their ambassador program for the cool discount opportunities that they offer. So I'll make sure to leave my discount code in the caption below. And yes, we are back to homeschooling. And so if you're interested in hearing what's been going on, because I haven't been here in such a while, um, what we're pretty much going to be doing this school year, I'm going to be summarizing it um, in this video. Feel free to continue watching. And so yes, this is our second year homeschooling. You know, I'm still fairly new. I'm still learning a lot of, you know, not only about homeschooling in general, but learning about our own way of schooling or unschooling. You know, it's still all pretty, you know, new to me, um, even though I've been always wanting to homeschool. And as you can see, you know, with the lack of updates and videos, you know, I haven't been posting much content here um, on our channel because so much has been going on. You know, I was so excited to share with you guys, like, all the things that have been going on with our first year of homeschooling. I mean, I barely got to document a lot of it. Um, but immediately when we started, we got news that our townhome had sold. And so um, when we had decided that we were going to stay here in Alaska because our plans were to move out of Alaska, uh, and of course COVID had its own plans for us, um, we had to move our family of six and our bulldog Koa into a new home, which was an adventure in itself. I was born and raised here in Anchorage, Alaska. I've always lived on one side of town, and I had never thought that I would ever live or venture off into a totally different part of town. And so I, I'm really glad that we did, and you know, we live near this beautiful lake, near a little airport. We get to see Cessnas, you know, the planes take off and dock, you know, we're all, also nearby our new fitness facility. So to catch you up on aside from that, that, the pandemic and our move, <laughs> our son graduated from high school. I finished my bachelor's degree in business administration and we were also in the middle of new construction with our fitness facility. And so we were building uh, a 6,000 square foot gym, you know, all while homeschooling, doing all the things. Um, so there's just like absolutely no way, no how that I could even think about doing videos, editing and all the things. It was just, there's a lot, right? So fast forward, here we are, you know, we had since decided that, you know, I'm going to throw this in here. So fair warning, um, you know, just going to get a little bit um, transparent with you guys, if, if I may. Um, so don't attack. <laughs> um, but our city still just couldn't get its act together with whether or not, you know, the kids were going to be back in school. Um, and so that, you know, you know, we believe that our children, you know, my children, um, you know, we didn't want them masked up, you know, all day. Um, there were some schools that were, um, you know, providing parents information that even during play outside and recess that they would have to be masked up. And, um, you know, nothing against any families or any parent that is okay with that. I think however you're able to ensure access um, for education for your child, it's, it's totally important. It's totally your choice. Um, you know, for you, for your family. Um, but for us, you know, it became an easy decision. And, you know, we weren't the type of family that barked up anybody's tree about it. Uh, you know, we took the decision and we decided for ourselves that, okay, it is something that isn't going to work for, for us. And um, we just didn't want our children subjected to mass all day. That's pretty much, you know, uh, as far as I'm going to address that, um, you know, also, you know, with the possibility of class or the school having to close down, you know, either, either temporarily or indefinitely um, in, in case of a COVID, um, you know, so, outbreak or whatever, um, you know, it's not what this video is all about. So sorry if I digressed a little. So, <laughs> okay, moving forward. 
Um, so today is August the 23rd. We started our first day back to homeschool and I'm doing this video after our schooling today. Um, just to kind of share with you guys how it went. You know, I may plan to do separate videos um, of the day in the, at least the homeschooling life uh, to start off with my ninth grader. Um, you know, I, we'd planned to start an early morning for her and for today, um, you know, just have a couple hours before the twins wake up, you know, to get into their routine. Uh, we went out for morning coffee, um, but, you know, it was just important that we have this routine and this moment that I have, like that that one-on-one -on -one time after picking up coffee today and then, you know, just sitting, you know, at our dining room table. It was just peace and quiet, <laughs> um, but it was just important to just sit and chat, you know, and before we dove into her schooling, which I feel like, you know, just taking that time um, was something that I really fell behind on last year. And so in being intentional with my mornings, it's really um, using the first part of our, our morning um, for her and for her to talk and for myself to listen. Um, and in another episode that I, I do have already planned out is my routine with the twins. You know, they're in second grade. Um, we spent all last week with all three girls, but we spent all last week just preparing them, you know, just setting expectations, you know, what to expect, doing just a warm introduction into, you know, how their mornings are going to be, waking up, getting ready, coming downstairs for morning um, breakfast and their morning baskets. Um, and they just, they did it with ease this morning. I'm so proud of them, um, you know, all three girls. But uh, the twins especially, they um, they have a lot more to do. I, I did add a lot more onto their plate, um, which I think is going to also help me because it's going to keep me accountable and ensuring that, you know, while I am giving them a little bit more, and I'll talk more about that later in regards to supplementing with math and writing. But, you know, ensuring that, you know, I also stay on top but of it. But they did great. And, you know, with that said, you know, we're only doing schooling four, four days, days of schooling, um, if you will. And then we leave Friday as kind of a catch-all day, you know, so... Friday maybe where Ava might be doing home ec with uh, her grandma and our, she might, you know, pick up another day of online Spanish. Um, so for the twins, uh, we are using that Friday as an optional Friday. And so that's kind of their day where we get to schedule out field trips, Fun activities, you know, maybe something that they want to do. Maybe they just want to have a movie day, you know, whatever is, you know, however they're feeling, that's going to be what we're going to be doing on Friday. So I decided on block scheduling. Um, and one of the reasons it was because it just worked well for us last year. And it was something that I knew that I would just incorporate um, again this year. Uh, so we keep majority of our learning in the mornings. Um, we get to spend more time on the core subjects instead of, you know, just like cramming everything in every day. Um, so we'll do like math and English on Monday and Wednesdays and then social studies and science on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, it's kind of the same scheduling that um, I'm doing. Well, I'm doing block scheduling for all three girls. So... <laughs> Um, and yes, while we do the required schooling four days a week, you know, every opportunity we're able to, you know, have, I enjoy making every day into a learning experience, which I've learned to um, call it taking advantage of rabbit trails. So if you've, if you've heard of that, um, it's a new term and um, homeschooling experience that I am incorporating for myself, you know, and I, I'm sure the girls could care less what it's called, but um, I, I love the concept of rabbit trails and um, 
I'll be sharing more about that later, of course. But so. the schedule really um, allows for us to have more family time. Uh, the kids get to have more free time in addition to, you know, that I'm able to get to our gym, help, you know, um, help out with clients and, you know, get my workouts in, in which, you know, to just add on to this, uh, I am in a bodybuilding prep as we speak. I compete late October. Uh, and, you know, just real quick, you know, I've been bodybuilding since 2011. The last time I was on stage was in 2016 um, for my IFBB Pro debut. And if you don't know what that is, no worries. I mean, just you know, keep listening, but I'll probably share more about that in a later video. Um, but you know, as a bodybuilder being, you know, just the self-discipline and the consistency, the, um, the scheduling, it's kind of just blending, you know, that in with homeschooling. It's why it's So worked. if anything, a lot of these videos are really going to be, you know, documentaries for us and hopefully informative and inspirational for you. Uh, if you are an aspiring homeschooling parent or if you are also new like myself, you know, I truly hope that you also, you know, find but encouragement. Thank you so much for checking out this, this video. I hope that you subscribe, follow. Um, I have already planned out so many great videos, one that I'm actually going to be editing and uploading here soon. Uh, last week or last weekend, we uh, did a back to homeschooling photo shoot, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. The pictures came out great. Um, but I hope that you guys, if you've already started your homeschooling for the year, that you guys are in or in the midst of starting. Um, truly hope that you guys have a wonderful start to your year, that you guys also stay safe um, and enjoy each other's time and take it one day at a time. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.